good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure playset for you guys. And today, this one is from the Wrestling Superstore. Yes, the Wrestling Superstore. If you guys have not heard of it, you need to Google it. You need to check it out. They actually have a wide variety of things. It's like this massive... It's like the, the TNA version of Ringside Collectibles, if you will. That's probably the best way I can describe it, guys. It's called Wrestling Superstore. And it has like a bunch of wrestling figure accessories and stuff but to be honest with you guys they're kind of cheaply made and they're not uh they're not mattel products they're kind of thin and stuff and this is actually not the table and the chairs and the cooler and everything that it comes with but this wall right here i got this wall from a fan a while back but i know that it all goes together it gives you like maybe i can bring up an image of it it gives you like a table and a cooler some water bottles or something and some chairs and this wall back here which is the main feature of the playset it's like a it's like a green room playset or something and the whole feature of of the playset is to throw the your superstars through this breakaway window back here but to be honest with you guys they charge a you, you pretty much have to cut your arm off and trade your arm for the playset itself because i think it comes out to like 40 something dollars shipped for the the breakaway wall which isn't the greatest i mean you can see how big it is look at it compared to one superstar look at this look at edge compared to the wall he's taller than the wall so not only is the playset not really in scale but you would significantly have to scale you would have to significantly skew the, the viewer's uh, perspective if you wanted to make this thing work for your pick feds or something like that. I was actually going to feature something like this at sold out, at MDT sold out, when Braun Strowman went one-on-one -on -one with Kenny, Kenny Omega in the main event. I was going to have them go backstage and use this playset as like, uh, you know, the breakaway wall and the breakaway, breakaway glass window, but you'd be better off making your own breakaway glass window than buying this from the Wrestling Superstar, which I said comes, I don't even remember what it, it literally, I was going to buy it for sold out. It was literally like 40 something dollars and Braun Strowman's like almost two inches taller than the wall itself. Like, look at that, dude. That is ridiculous. To be fair, you know, it's not a Mattel product, so it kind of makes sense, but wouldn't you think that they would go after the market that is actually the height of the figures? Like, the wall should probably be about yay high. The window should be, you know, a little bit bigger. Like, I don't even know if Braun Strowman can go through that window. I mean, it can make for some pretty cool shots if you, again, if you if you skewed the, the viewer's perspective, if you maybe lifted this this up and you did like a different angle and you know manipulated the viewpoint you could obviously make it work but for the overrated price point guys I just don't know if it's worth it but and I've actually seen where my boy TJ Undisputed Brotherhood has actually ordered things from there a long time ago this is a long time ago but every time he orders something from this website it's always cheaply made it always has you know like uh, the belts were really massive the, the the tables could barely stand up the ladders were really loose the chairs were really loose anybody I've ever seen order from this site it's just uh, it's not the greatest quality guys like I said I didn't purchase this I actually had a fan send me this and at the time he sent it it was kind of crazy it was actually like um, a golden moment because I was actually about to be done with sold out I was on the main event and I was gonna order this and then I decided not to because it was so expensive and then I got it like two days later in the mail so thank God I didn't spend $50 on it. I hope that the fan didn't spend $50 on it. I hope that uh, he found that on eBay for cheap or something like that because hopefully hopefully, maybe that fan's watching this video can tell me uh, what they spent for this playset or this at least background wall. They didn't give me everything in the playset but they did give me the background wall. Maybe they heard me talking about it in a video and wanted to send it to me and I thank them for that so we can make this video and I, make, I can make you guys aware of um, what we're dealing with here. Another story from Wrestling Superstore guys is that I, when I first started my my pick that I don't got, I don't know if I have any OG subscribers from that long ago. I think it was like My Damn Halls episode number seven. I bought two of the scale rings. It's like a replica of the Jack's real scale ring. They basically just redid it their own way, I do believe. I'm not sure if it's Wrestling Superstore or some uh, other third-party company that makes the rings. But I bought two of them. I bought one that I still use to this day. And the other one that I bought, everything that came with this ring, guys, was absolutely too small. Like, the, the ring apron was too small. The the um, I think one of the, the corner pieces that held the turnbuckle together was broken. It was broken to pieces. And they don't give you any replacements. So that was smashed to pieces. And I had to tape it all together. And the freaking uh, the ring post would cave in on each other they would like lean in i don't know if you guys remember this i made a whole video on it you guys need to go check it out on the channel if you haven't seen that or if you guys uh have never um if you guys weren't subscribers but i know a ton of 
of you weren't subscribers back then. I think I had like 2,000 subscribers back when this happened, but I'm telling you guys, the, it would have been a funny video to, you know, talk about now and uh, go back and look at. I, I wish I had like images and stuff of it. The ring literally, you know how you put your ring post in the corners? My ring post was literally leaning forward and it would like, if I left it or if I taped it in place, I would come back the next day and my half my crowd would be over and the ring post would be 600 feet to the left inside the crowd with my crowd knocked over and the ring broken. Like it was so frustrating because I wanted to have two rings so I didn't have to switch in and out the rings. All I would have to do is take the ring down, put it under the table and bring the other ring up for vindication. That was my plan. That did not work. I spent like 120 bucks on both rings shipped or something like that. 100 bucks at least and they ended up being, you know, totally worthless. Well, one of them is working great. It still works to this day, and I like it better than the main event ring, and I actually like it better than the Wicked Cool Toys ring. It actually works a lot better in scale with your figure, so I definitely recommend that ring. Just ho hopefully you don't get a bummy one. I need to order another one so I can do that uh, that flip-flop thing that I was talking about. But yeah, guys, this video is pretty much about this playset. We're going to still put people through the table and through the window because I know that that is going to be a great feature of the playset. And if you guys want to go purchase it, if you guys like what you see in this video, literally this is what it comes with. It comes with a breakaway table. Not this quality though. It comes with chairs of not this quality. It does come with a cooler or a water bottle or something and it comes with the breakaway wall. But we're going to put somebody through the table. We're going to put somebody through the window and um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. But I figured you guys would enjoy this little rant series on this figure playset. You know what we need to do? We need to start ordering those playsets and just like doing like a small review of them here on the channel and let me warn you guys about uh, about them because I know that they, they kind of charge an arm and a leg for that stuff and um, I'd rather me spend money on it and test it first than send you guys over there to purchase the stuff and it'd be absolute trash. So that being said guys, uh, I guess we could take our J&J Security figure right here. It's sort of my makeshift J&J Security. It's like a ringmaster from Toys R Us exclusive. But we're going to move all these guys back and we're going to move these chairs and stuff because I don't want, you know, everything to, uh, you know what, just just screw it. Here, let me let me move the camera and we're going we're gonna to take flight right here. Let's go ahead and get Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman's gonna power slam the hell out of this guy through the table. Oh, here comes the monster among men. Braun Strowman's about to put that security guard through the table. Now that's what I'm talking about. Next up, we have the breakaway window right here. I'm gonna get from this angle right here. And uh, hopefully, I'm gonna probably hold the wall right here. I'm gonna hold the wall right here that way. If I throw it and it misses, it doesn't th launch the damn thing across the across the way here. So what we're gonna do is take J and J Security here, uh, or little Ringmaster, whatever you want to call him, and I'm gonna just shoot him through the window. In three, two, one. And that didn't work. Okay, so you can't go that way. You can't even go that way. Epic fails. All right, we're gonna go the other way then. All right, here we go. Going the other way this time. Three, two, one. Dang, it does go through pretty good, but you see this, it's just four pieces and it sticks all the way out like that. And you know, you guys can see it's sort of like a little blast thing. I don't know, I felt like I could recreate this a lot better. Maybe that could be a cool series. Recreating WWE figure play sets or wrestling figure play sets in my own way and you know comparing them to the original that would be pretty bomb i know all you guys are like no screw that bro you need to put all your time into the pick fed yeah i know i know i'm grinding on i'm grinding on it every single day if you guys knew how much work went into the thing you wouldn't be saying that. But when it releases, you guys will understand. I promise you that. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this little playset review slash warning slash almost choked on nothing. That was a little crazy. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Maybe you got some entertainment out of it. That's the whole point of the videos and the channel and the farts and the holes and the smell in it. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have purchased anything from that website, website comment down below. What do you think of the wall thing and the stuff and the Strowman Ringmaster throw through the window. My God. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.